friends. Today is a great day because today we are 12 hours away from the beginning of the stitch down patina Thunderdome. So, for those of you who are not aware, the Stitch Down Patina Thunderdome happens once a year. It is the third year, and the goal of the competition is to take a brand new pair of boots, wear them for six months, and get the best patina you can. Now, there's a lot more that go into it. There's a website, stitchdown.com, that you can go and we can go and read a lot about their rules, regulations. However, this video, if you are here, you might have already know. So I've narrowed down my choices to these three boots. And I'm just gonna talk through a little bit why, my thoughts behind the reasoning for choosing them and at the end, I'll give you which one I think I might be leaning towards. Here we go. All right. Let's just go from left to right because why not? So the first one here, we have our Grant Stone, Ottawa, and Natural Minerva. This boot comes from the tannery in Battalassi, Italy. Battalassi Carlo. The Leather is natural Minerva, a vegetable tanned on a leather midsole, a leather sole, and it also has a leather insole. And so this is all vegetable tanned, completely vegetable tanned boot. Smells amazing. The things I like about it, I like all the stitching that would highlight during the patina process thinking specifically about this competition. I like the fact that it's a little dressier. Uh, I plan to wear it at work, obviously. I'm gonna wear it a lot during the competition, so I could go in and out of meetings or offices, places that I need to go into for work, to conduct a business, and blend right in to the environment while knowing I'm patining my boots. Other things that I like is that it's just super high quality all around with this vegetable tanned natural Minerva with this leather sole. So the leather sole would be my first brand new leather sole that I would be breaking in. I have a pair of used boots with leather soles that I know that feel good after getting broken in. So I would enjoy going through that process myself. I like the comfort of it. It's very comfortable as you put it on your foot with this leather line. This is Kip leather lining out of Wisconsin. I like how it's all natural laces. So a lot to like about this boot. Things that I am not too excited about thinking about the patina stitch down Thunderdome. Well, the fact that the con part about the leather sole is that these months run into, they start in October, October 1st through April. So there's gonna be winter months. I am in Wisconsin. So I am thinking about all the inclement weather that these bad boys will encounter during that period of time, which snow, ice, uh, I don't, again, it's okay. I don't mind the fact that they're gonna get all tore up on the bottom, but it's just attraction, safety, safety, slipping, falling, walking on sidewalks. If I am going in and out of buildings, of course, I'm gonna have to trick through the outdoors a little bit. And that's the one thing that concerns me. So the uh, con, is all I can really feel, uh, I think, is that leather sole. I feel it's just that sole. Another, I can't think of any other cons, really. It's 
it is the winter months in Wisconsin, but it's not that I need them to be warm. They don't need to be insulated or anything. It's really just a traction thing. I know the leather outside can handle it. I, I'll definitely treat it as we start and make sure that the outside will patina fine with all those inclement weathers. It's really just the traction on the bottom, honestly, is the only thing that I would be worried about. The leather I know could handle it. Moving on to the second consideration, we have the Red Wing Model 8863. This is a mock toe as well. Has stitching that can pop with that patina process. 360 degree Goodyear welt. Just like our first option with the Ottawa. I really like the fact that it has a little more traction. Again, thinking about those winter months. It's not the best traction, but it's still some more than a leather sole. I like the fact it is gray and it can kind of mix and match with very casual office attire. So that is one thing too. I have to, I have to make sure either bring a second pair to work that might be a little bit more non-casual, I guess. Um, a little bit more business casual, like the Ottawa's. Um, however, knowing that I still need to patina these down, so I gotta get some use out of them outside of work. So again, it's just considerations that I'm thinking of. So it has leather insole, it has the cork filled. That's gonna mold to my foot. And I like the mule skinner. So this is in, Mule Skinner Rough Out Leather by Red Wing SB Foot Tanning. The production date, 1220. Other things that I like is that it is gusseted. You know, again, so when the winter months are coming up, the inclement weather, the gusset will help with just kind of keeping everything out. I've seen pictures of patinaed rough out. It looks really cool. I haven't done it yet myself. So I would be excited also to see that process. So consideration, you know, I'm just looking at past winners as well. There were, the top winner last year was not a mule skinner, it wasn't a rough out. However, out of the 20 plus winners, there were a couple rough outs. So I, I know that they can make a list. Maybe 2023 and 24 are rough out. Is the rough out year, who knows? So I just wanna give you a little idea about my second option. Okay, option number three I'm excited to talk about is this Red Wing option. Model number 9077. This is the Congress boot. It is a Chelsea style. It is in black feather stone leather. It has a 270 degree Goodyear welt. And then speaking of traction on the bottom, it's got a little bit of that fancy touch with this Roshia or I'm sorry, this is the with this grow cord outsole. So it has a little bit better of a traction than the Ottawa. And I don't know how it would really compare to these side by side. I'm sure there's pros and cons again to each. But this does have a fancier bottom. So again, I can be comfortable knowing that I can wear them um, to and from the office, whereas the Ottawa's are, are gonna have to just be in the office and swapped out in the inc really bad inclement weather stages. But with this one, I feel like I can definitely still truck through, you know, the plowed streets and sidewalks in and out of buildings. I'm not gonna go snow plow in the driveway with them, but I can, I can still rest assured I can get around outside in and out of buildings all through the patina process of the stitch down Thunderdome. So I also like, this is on the mill last. So this is the first time I've encountered this last, which is M-I-L 
one last. It's a mill of one last. This is an Asian exclusive Red Wing. So I like these because the Chelsea style would be a new style for me. I haven't really incorporated that into my daily attire at all. However, I would. I'm comfortable doing that now. I feel like I have enough business casual attire to do that. I like the fact that <clears throat> as we have this patina process that it, it's a slip-on. My initial thoughts were that the slip-on was sort of a sort of a little bit of a cop-out because you can just slide in and out on like these you have to lace which I do like the speed hooks but you know these this is actually pretty tough to tell you the truth to get in and out of right away this is this is like really stiff so it's not really like even it's not really a cop-out I don't think to try to a Chelsea boot I really like the fact that it's all one piece on the vamp here one piece back here on the back and then just this one back stay so it's a very minimal use of leather pieces looks like three total only pieces put in this Chelsea boot to put together I really like that because as this patinas and it takes form and really gets that shape around the foot going this is all gonna show where you're gonna have your laced up boots, they'll show too, but you're gonna miss the tongue getting, getting all, getting all patinaed as well. You're not gonna see that really. Where this exposes, this really just exposes the entire boot and, and gives you that feel of, you know, it just gives you that entire look of what that leather looks like. So I'll put some examples there so you can just kind of see what I'm talking about, but. I would be excited to see that over this period of time. Some cons about the boot. I'm trying to think here. It just might not go with all of my attire every day. So I mean, might not get used 100%, but maybe 95% of the time. Besides the fact I'm just gonna have to resole it at the, at the end of this Thunderdome contest i don't think there's a big there's very many cons at this boot so the slip on the fact i can inclement weather i know i can go through inclement weather black cherry feather stone i'd be excited to see how that patinas i'm going to show you an example of actually how that leather so this is my black cherry feather stone beckman by red wing and so just want to give you an idea of what a patinaed black cherry might look like. So maybe give me an idea. Oops. Just give you an idea of what black cherry might look like patinaed. What do you think? I think it'd be a good, good option. What do you think? The fact that these two are tied, I think, for my top choices. I like the fact that the Ottawa is orange and that it's going to have that just patina that you maybe naturally think of when you go from light to dark patinaing. However, I would also be excited to see how you go from dark, maybe to darker, and also with that lightening of the T-core, that lightening of the leather, the breakage. So, yeah, those are just two kind of ideas. So if you see the back, I just would be interested to see if it reveals any lightness. So if you can go from dark to light, even though this is a little darker, I feel like it's gonna get, it's gonna reveal some light spots like this Beckman is. So, like on the toe here, 
kind of see some white spots showing up. So, yeah, I think the Congress boot might be a good option. However, I love, I love this mock toe. So I'm, I really like this mock toe with this front toe stitch. So I just like this style so much. If this bottom was on here, oof, I think we would have a Z winner. All right, my friends, as I just sort of mess around with the boots here at the end, I want to thank you so much for sticking around here. Hey, please like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Which boots would you choose and why? Do you like my options? Are you participating in this Patina Thunderdome? I think you should. Please let me know your thoughts. And again, thank you so much. I will see you on the next one.